And Nikki, what else have you got for us tonight? Well, it's not just energy bills that might be playing on people's minds. As many as one in five property owners could be in for an unexpected bill this year. Take a look at this. It's still the case that most people dream of owning their own home. So it can be a real shock to discover the people you legally have to pay to keep the place in tip-top condition don't appear to be doing anything of the sort. Alex bought his flat four years ago. He's a leaseholder and pays management company Firstport around £2,400 a year to service and maintain shared areas in his complex. But according to Alex, that's not been happening. Car park gates, they now haven't worked properly for about the last three years. The lift failed two and a half weeks ago. An engineer got called out, he fixed it, and then the ceiling fell down. In 2022 and 2023, there was an A4 notice up by the electricity for the communal supplier saying you're about to be cut off. First bought just hadn't paid the bill. Alex and other residents were also recently told that they'd have to pay thousands to maintain an old war memorial in the grounds, something they weren't expecting. We've been told categorically that cost was never going to be passed over to the residents because the developers would foot that bill. We put Alex's complaints to First Port, which told us that the war memorial appears to be the responsibility of the local council, not the residents. It's grateful the matter has been brought to their attention, and whilst it investigates, it will consider any costs already incurred by leaseholders. It also told us there was a delay in paying energy bills because they were being sent to the wrong department, but this is now resolved. Whilst there has been intermittent issues with the gate, it says it hasn't been broken for three years and says the lift was fixed and is now working. It adds UK-wide cost of living challenges have impacted on maintenance costs. It shares budgets in advance with customers and some of the issues raised by Alex needed input from external contractors. Earlier this year, Michael Gove, the Secretary of State for Leveling Up Housing and Communities, highlighted issues with leaseholds. We hope in the forthcoming King's speech to introduce legislation to fundamentally reform this system. We need to end this feudal form of uh, tenure and make sure that individuals have the right to enjoy their own property fully. For Lizzie and her partner, who bought their flat in 2021, change can't come soon enough. The block they share with eight other leaseholders is managed by Eager States. When we bought the flat, we were told the service charge was going to be £800 a year. The year of June 22 to 23 was £6,200. Lizzie's flat is a new build, yet the leaseholders have been charged for upgrading the fire doors, for drainage repairs and £570 for a rubber mat. Every time we've sent them a query asking why is it so expensive, they just come back basically saying it's necessary work or no, your insurance wouldn't cover this. It has taken the joy out of buying a place completely. I now will not recommend to anybody to buy a leasehold flat. Lizzie and her neighbours have clubbed together to try and take action. We decided as a flat block that we wanted to get right to manage 50% of the flat block have to agree and you can apply for this right to manage your building yourself. We put Lizzie's concerns to Eager States which told us it's aware of some dissatisfied leaseholders but they represent a fraction of the properties managed. It believes the service fees it charges are reasonable and based on actual expenditure. The increases in service fees were due to unforeseen repairs and needing to meet legal regulations. Attempts to charge these repairs to the builder and new build insurance have not been accepted. It is aware of Lizzie and the other leaseholders' right to manage application, but says it has not yet taken effect. And across the country, the battle between leaseholders and those companies rumbles on. Too many property management companies have faced accusations of profiteering over the years. But the hope for many is that they'll soon be able to actually get what they paid for. Well, Nikki, those bills must have been such a horrible shock. I know. You know, can leaseholders expect things to get better anytime soon? Well, uh, we asked the Department for Leveling Up Housing and Communities about the call for reform that the Secretary of State spoke about in that film just now. It told us 
By law, service charges must be reasonable and freeholders or landlords that fail to uphold their legal duties can be challenged under tribunals and ultimately in the courts. It added it's committed to go further to reform the fundamentally unfair leasehold system and that is why it will bring forward new laws to protect leaseholders later in this parliament. So if you are already in a dispute about your bill with your freeholder, should you stop paying the service charge until the issue is resolved? No. No, never. This is so important, actually, Lauren. Never do that. It's uh, never stop paying your service charge because if you do, it gives the freeholder grounds to take your home without giving you any money. So, as unfair as it might sound, just keep paying. And if any of those issues, or we've been talking about tonight, have got you thinking about your own consumer problems, then do get in touch and we'll see what we can do to help. You can do that in all the usual ways. Watchdog at bbc.co.uk or at bbcwatchdog on all the socials. Oh, uh, thank you, Nikki. Thanks, guys.